tell me about your first professional engagement. I think we sort of almost touched on that a moment ago, but how did you get your first professional gig? Well, define professional. Making money at it? Or... Give, yes, tell me the story about the first time you ever made money playing music. I started playing for fun at Hootenannies at the Gate of Horn in Chicago, and after I got good enough, I got a job at a coffee house, which paid $10 a night, which is big money if you're a, a teenager in, in Chicago in the 50s and, and you don't have any expenses. Uh, so I was really happy with that whole thing. And then after my coffee house job, I'd go down to the Gate of Horn and hang out. And um, I was only 18, 17. I was 17, but I had a, an ID that said I was older. And they knew me there and they, that I played music and I wasn't going to cause any trouble, so they let me in. And one night I went down there after a performance at the Cafe Rue, which was a coffee house I played at. And there was a jam session going on with the Limelighters and Theodore Bikel. And uh, two of the Limelighters, uh, Alex Hasselov and Glenn Yarborough, were hanging out at the bar. And Theodore Bikel was down at the other end of the bar with a classical guitar. And they all had guitars. And I walked in with my two instrument cases, a five-string banjo and a six-string guitar. And Alex Hasselov said, what do you got there, kid? And I said, well, I got a banjo and a guitar. He said, oh, break out the banjo. We've got too many guitars going. So I, I pulled out my banjo, and I played with them till 5 o'clock in the morning. And after the bar was just about to close, Alex said, you know, we're thinking of hiring somebody to replace uh, Alex, I mean, to replace Glenn over there on the guitar. I mean, he wants to stay in the band, but he doesn't want to play guitar. He just wants to concentrate on his vocals. So um, would you be interested? And I said, yeah, sure. So they said, well, meet us over at Mr. Kelly's at 1 o'clock for an audition. That was the club they were playing in at, in Chicago. So I got a little sleep and went over to Mr. Kelly's at 1 o'clock and auditioned for him. And they said, great, you got the job. When can you start? And I said, well, I get out of high school in June. <laughs> so they were surprised that I, I'd been in the bar last night. You know, but, 